So ever since I started rendering, I've always used V-Ray. I tried using Lumion, Octane, Cinema 4D, and all that stuff. But honestly, I kept coming back to V-Ray. But all of that changed when I tried Enscape. At first, I was still skeptical. Like, there's no way this can be as good as V-Ray renders. And honestly, if it's being judged in pure render quality, V-Ray is the more superior rendering software. With that said, rendering images is so much more than just pure render output. You have to consider the render times, the ease of use, and generally just the pure fun of using the rendering software. At first, I didn't want to like this software because, you know, I was a V-Ray fanboy. But when I saw my girlfriend Crystal use Enscape, I was like, hold up. What the jeeba? She was rendering Revit files like it was just a game and the output looked similar to my V-Ray renders that took me a ton of man hours to do. Time I could have spent watching anime. So TLDR, I tried Enscape for myself and to say that I was blown away is an understatement. With that being said, here are my first impressions and take note guys, these are just my first impressions. Like I've only spent 2 hours plus or minus 30 minutes using this rendering software cause you know, busy architecture days. Anyways, let us start with what I disliked with this software. So during the short time I spent using this software, I found the advanced render settings a bit lacking. So for one, I could not find a way to adjust the ambient occlusion of my renders. And that's about the only negative thing I could say about this rendering software and its performance. The only other downside I could think of is the price, which is at the time of recording this video is at $39 per month, which is like $10 more expensive than a V-Ray license. But you know, if you do architectural renderings on a daily basis, that price difference won't even matter because of all the time you will save rendering with this software. Which brings us to the upsides of Enscape. So the first thing I loved about Enscape is how fast it renders images. So this software renders images in real time, meaning as soon as you change something in the model, Enscape instantly renders that image for you. Okay, so let's say you need to change the view. No problem, just rotate it within Enscape and bam, you now have a new view. So this will come in super useful when you are presenting to clients and they ask you to change something. You can now do it live in front of your clients. So you can now watch as they get a seizure from witnessing your amazing architectural wizardry skills. Anywho, another thing I love about Enscape is how simple applying materials are. Okay, so for example, we are going to try to render a glass material. So let us create a panel beside our main model right there. Now all we have to do is take a SketchUp material, for example, this pink color A02. Apply that onto our model. Now all we have to do is to type in an Enscape keyword. So in this case, the keyword is glass. So type in glass space and then enter and bam instantly on our Enscape viewport that material is going to turn into a shiny glass like material now in order to refine our material parameters we have to go into Enscape material settings so let's click Enscape materials boom and then just click on transparency to make this glass material more transparent so take that and then add some opacity and there you go we now have a transparent pink glass material on our Enscape viewport. So there you go, realistic glass in a matter of seconds. That would have probably taken me like 10 minutes just to render and experiment a glass material like this in V-Ray. Now, there are a lot of Enscape material keywords like grass, steel, plastic, water, vegetation, emissive, and a ton more. So realistically, any material you want, you can make it within Enscape. Another thing I love about Enscape is the asset library. So the asset library is basically like the SketchUp 3D warehouse where you can download 3D objects and place them directly on your model. And when you import it, surprise, these 3D objects already have materials applied into them. Take this car for example. Just place that onto there. Boom. You now have a car on your model, just like that. So with the asset library, I could just basically import a car and Bob's your uncle. The car automatically has a wonderfully realistic paint job. Took me literally like 5 seconds to place that in the model. Now, the beauty of these 3D objects taken from Enscape asset library is that they are already proxy models, which means they've been substituted with lower geometry 3D models. So for example, let us import a tree from the asset library. Now, if you look at my SketchUp window right here, the tree just looks like some some sort of giant chicken nugget but in my Enscape render window the tree actually has some separate leaves on it 
and some branches and all that geometry. So that is what proxy substitution is. So this way your computer won't struggle when you're moving and rotating your SketchUp model like so because there are less faces and edges for your PC to analyze. Anyways, the last thing I love about Enscape is the simplicity of its user interface. Like how simple it is to navigate through your render window like so. It's kinda intuitive if you're a gamer who use WASD keys to move around in your game. It's kinda like that, you use your WASD keys to move, E and Q to fly up and down, and you know, super intuitive. I also love how simple it is to change your render settings. So when you open your Enscape render settings right here, you will be greeted by this small simple pop-up box. So here you can change a bunch of settings that would have otherwise been super complicated in V-Ray. Like the depth of field, you can like change the depth of field right there, like make it super shallow. And then you can even choose your focal point, like choose the guy as our focal point and boom, it looks like a picture. So another thing you can do is that you can change the amount of bloom right here. So you can achieve that ethereal render look like that, which is very popular nowadays, by the way. Kinda makes your render look like you got some Vaseline in your eyes and you're staring into the sun or something like that. But you know, whatever floats your boat. Then aside from that, you can also rotate your horizon, which to be honest, I probably spend too much time doing this thing, just playing around because it just looks freaking cool, man. Anyway, another setting I spent way too much time and had too much fun playing with is the cloud setting. So with Enscape, you can adjust the density of the clouds like so. Boom, cloudier, clear skies. I feel like Bruce Almighty right now. You can also change the variety of the clouds like so. I don't know what changed. And then you can add cirrus amount, whatever that means. So let's add some cirrus. Boom, less cirrus. More serious, less serious. So there's a bunch of other settings that I do not understand like contrails, longitude, latitude, and all that other stuff. So talking about stuff I do not know, one thing I do have to experiment with though is the video rendering. Cause here in the capture settings, I could see that there's like a video quality setting. I still don't know how to export videos though, but I will learn. And once I learn, who oh boy, get ready for a tutorial. Anyways, that about wraps up my quick impressions of Enscape for SketchUp. Overall, I think that this is a great rendering software. The image quality is on par with Lumion and just a tad bit lesser than Viri. But with that being said, here are some of the renders that some other people did with Enscape. Ooh boy, those are some great renders. And then here is my render which I did for just two hours, which is like mind blowing to me. With my old workflow, this would have probably taken twice the time with modeling, downloading the 3D objects, applying the materials, then rendering, then test rendering, and then re-rendering, then changing the view and rendering again. You guys get the point. There's just so much time wasted in rendering stuff. Anywho, if you guys have the money, I suggest that you guys go get Enscape, or you guys could download this for a free trial on their website but it only lasts for 14 days though. So yeah, with that said, I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on my next video. Flying peace.